Hello, my name is Julio Rodriguez, and I would like to welcome you to another edition of the Online Zone right here on Card Player TV. Let's get right into some online poker news. In online tournament news, Steve G. Boyle Gross and Casey Big Dog Pocket Fives Jarzebek continue to dominate the Online Player of the Year standings and have increased their lead to four digits over the rest of the field. Jarzebek took down the Sunday Mulligan, but Gross retained his lead by winning the Sunday $100 rebuy. Perhaps as a secondary award, Gross was recently announced as the newest and sixth member of the Brunson Tent, a group of young, elite online poker players hand-selected by Doyle Brunson himself. Gross isn't the only OPOI winner to get sponsorship. Alex AJK Hoosier won Cambaris, was selected as the fifth member just two weeks ago. Here's a look at the OPOI standings as of Wednesday, March 17th. Newcomers to the top ten include Ben, Animal5050 Papas, Russell RD CRSN Carson, and Raj Bad Cards AA Vora, who won the $2,500 F-Tops event last month for $430,000. Last week we talked about a Silder one and his epic run against the high stakes elite. This week was the total opposite. In two monster sessions, Isildur lost $1.6 million to Phil Galfon and followed that up with a $1.5 million loss to Brian Hastings. We thought that would quiet things down a bit, but he came back for more and wound up losing another $300,000 to Ilari Sahamis. In this week's interview, we caught up with Justin Z. Justin Bonomo, who has battled Isildur in No Limit Hold'em and is currently deep at the Win Poker Classic Championship in Las Vegas. So you've been playing a Silder a lot in No Limit Hold'em. It seems like you're one of the few people willing to give him action at No Limit Hold'em. Um, not really, actually. I guess specifically at No Limit, because um, most people want to play him at PLO. I just don't know how to play PLO. But, I mean, he really has been getting action from a lot of people, though. And how have you fared so far? Um, he's gotten the best of me. He's up a bit. Um, he's definitely run pretty good, I think. Um, also, like, he's been winning at 200-400, I've been winning at 100-200, obviously that works out in his favor, unfortunately. Now, you've been known uh, for your tournament skills. Do you feel like you can compete with the best in No Limit Hold'em? Um, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm the best or anything like that, but I think I'm pretty good. Um, things have been going well, so I'll keep playing pretty much everyone. How high are you willing to play? If you step set up to 500, 1,000, are you willing to jump up that high, maybe if you take on a partner? Um, I mean, with a partner, it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, right now I'm good for 200, 400, not really above that, but maybe in the near future I'll be playing 3-6. Now, Brian Hastings pretty much crushed him a couple days ago, and then the rumor was, oh no, Hastings fell to him again, he's going to go on another two-month break. Do you think he's going to be back? Are you worried that he's not going to give you any more action? When was this? Because I know either two or three days ago he won like a million. Is this before or after that? Um, I don't know. I've heard rumors that he's staked by Tony G. I've... I probably shouldn't have even said that because it's like less than 50% that it's true. Um, I, I really don't know. Like, obviously, he's done well on the Euro site, so he's certainly had a lot of money. Uh, I really have no idea what his financial status is. Now, what happened was he lost 1.6 million to, to Galfond, and he lost another million and a half to Hastings. Uh, he's down two million overall. Do you think that? I mean, if if you had to give him your opinion, do you think he should continue playing at these stakes? Um, I think he should uh, be a little bit more careful in choosing his opponents. Like, he's definitely, he's really, really good, but he's not the best in the world, and he's playing against the actual best in the world. So that's just not a very good recipe. That'll do it for another episode of The Online Zone. Be sure to send in your questions and comments to onlinezone at cardplayer.com.